folks, Steve here at Boss Runners. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2018 Astoria fifth wheel, model 3013 BHF. It's a bomb cost model, 35 foot in length, 8700 pounds of dry weight, beautiful product, tons of features, let's not waste any time and let's get started. Uh, fiberglass painted and gel coated front cap with LED lights, uh, they didn't go halfway on the LED lights, <laughs> very nice. Um, front compartment is separated from the other portion of the compartment. There's also a battery disconnect in there. And there's an LED light so you make sure you can see your stuff. Quick pin on the landing gear and look at the size of those foot pad. Not going to need any wood underneath that. Very nice. Talking about those foot pad, this particular fifth wheel comes with a fully automatic self-leveling system. You push a button, it's self-leveled also has a memory to go back to hitching. So you set it up originally, and then every time you want to go, you push the button, the fifth wheel will go up to the heights that's required for your truck to back up. Beautiful things. Um, rain gutters, power extension. Electric awning, a fairly large one, very nice, with LED lights as well. A solar panel ready. This little fifth wheel would comes with two times 30 pounder with an automatic changeover, pretty standard in the industry. Pass through storage with LED lights on the wall. On the other end we can see a, walk, a box on the wall, that is your system for the leveling system. And this little box on this side right here, that's the onboard computer that controls all your slide, all your lights, your water heater, anything electrical is connected to this little box. A beautiful system, it's called In Command. You can download an app on your phone, it's free, and you'll be able to control all of those features from your phone as well. It's a nice little system, I'm really liking it. Uh, one of the things that I really like is slam latch handle as well, and there's a magnetic holder as well on it. Uh, aluminum treads on the steps, it's a triple entry, large pull away entry handle, natural field radial tires on aluminum wheels, Outside speakers, you could, if you want, bring the TV outside. There's your landing gear in the back for the self-leveling system. Again, look at the size of those pad, folks. Gas electric water heater. Outside kitchen, so we got a two burner stove and a fridge. I really like the little cabinet they make. It's not made out of wood, so it's kind of nice. If it starts raining, it's not going to get damaged. Plenty of counter, there's a power outlet and there's a beautiful LED lights as well. There's a switch to turn it on and off. Beautiful. Roof ladder, spare tire, backup camera. All of my marker lights, including the tail lights, are LEDs. Nice, very nice. 50 amp service, detachable power cord, black tank flush. Folks, there's two of them there because there is two toilets in this trailer. Um, what else do we have? We have a on the other side of it, we do have a uh, spray port and uh, the water connection for uh, to plug in your trailers. Your sewer valves are right here. They're color coded, black for black, gray for gray. And I think that's it for the outside. Let's go inside and take a look. One other thing we didn't really uh, talk about: beautiful sticker on the. On those uh, fifth wheels, three year limited structure warranty. Dutchman's industry's best. That's right, folks. It's the best in the industry. Very large living kitchen area. So, theater seating, cup holder and storage. It reclines. Uh, if we look around, we can see the humongous windows. Uh, all the windows do comes with pleated shades, but one of the features that I really like, I got this one up, is even the one at the end lifts up so you do have ventilation. Uh, the booth, there's storage below, beautiful drawers. Uh, kitchen, hard surface countertop, stainless steel sink, very deep with a sink cover, residential quality tap, it's also uh, you can pull out the sprayer on it. Um, I guess space rack holder, same here at the front, and there's another one on the other side. Talking about the other side, there's a couple of big drawers. I guess if you need extra space in the kitchen, you could use it for kitchen stuff, but really, I, I can see my wife putting all her shoes in there. And by all means, there's plenty of drawers in the kitchen. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and if we count the two under the boots, that would be nine. With the two on the other hand, that would be eleven. That's actually quite nice for uh, for an RV. Beautiful drawers, they're plywood made. Uh, ball bearing hardware, the whole drawer stand out. Look at the size of this window by the kitchen. Not gonna find out anywhere. Uh, backsplash is lit. There's a switch right here on the cabinet. Stainless steel packaging for the appliances, so microwave, range hood, oven, and fridge. Uh, it's a big oven, 21 inch. It's flush mounted with a glass top, bifold glass top. All burners are adjustable, and you have an inverter on that as well. So again, they stepped up their game here. I really, really like that. Even the light bulb in the range hood is LED. Beautiful. Bigger fridge, it's an eight cubic feet. It uh, can definitely hold enough for a family of four, five, six, seven, eight if you want, even ten, because that's how many people can sleep in this thing. Uh, even above the fridge, what we normally find in the, uh, my competitors is just an open space, but they actually put the doors there. Uh, pantry, can't complain about that. It's a little high to get the bag of chips, but that will do the trick. Again, those three drawers. Plywood main, a whole thing extend. There's a place to hang some clothes if you want, and there's a couple of drawers that would be perfect for the kids' clothes. They're very wide bunks. Each bunk has its own windows, LED lights, and double USB uh, outlets. Now, they left this little thing open here that is perfect if the kids are a little younger and they need to bring toys like baseball gloves and stuff like that, you can put this in a bin and it can slide on the need there, it would be perfect. Full size bathroom on this side. It's a bathtub because it's a family unit folks. There's a shower uh, liner, there's a skylight, there's plenty of lights, there's a foot flush porcelain toilets, there's towel, uh, towel hooks on the wall, there's a medicine cabinet, there's a beautiful little vanity here with storage below, a light switch on the wall, Nothing is missing. Power fan as well. Uh, just above kitchen living room area, we do have a fantastic fan. It's rain censored and it's uh, wall controlled. So uh, we have a control uh, on the way. We're going to take a look at it when we uh, when we make our way to the bedroom. The entertainment area comes with a 40-inch Fury on TV, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB auxiliary, with a center speakers. Very nice. Flush mounted 30 inch uh, fireplace. The whole thing is controllable from the same control that comes for this and this. It's very nice. Plenty of storage above. A place to leave some shoes as if the two drawers wouldn't be able to hold enough. Very, very wide tread to make your way to the bedroom. Up that way we do have the, uh, a switch for the light in the hallway. We have our panel for the uh, Max Air fan and we have that little panel as I was explaining to you earlier that will control all your lights, your water heater, your water pumps, your awning, your slide outs. Everything is controlled through this little thing right here. It's a nice little system. In the way to the bedroom, again, there's a light switch for the main light. There's another light switch right here for the mood lighting above the cabinet. An individual switch for the light itself. It is a true 60 by 80 queen size bed, just like at home. Um, one of the features I really like in this fifth wheel that we don't get to see very often is that they, uh, they cut the shirt closet up so you're not sleeping against the wall and there's two night table. On each side you get a power outlet and you get a USB outlet. And the other feature I'm really liking is most manufacturer wouldn't bother cutting this little uh, area here. You would be sleeping under a uh, 45 degree angle. For the, for the cap at the front, so the, there was enough room for them to cut it up and so you're not, you're not uh, sleeping on an angle here. It's pretty nice, really like that. Uh, wardrobe uh, slide out, so you do have a place to hang some towels if you want and live in. And right here you got a bar, a real bar, which is kind of nice. And your half bath, so your half bath Again, foot flush porcelain toilets, a beautiful little vanity, storage below, medicine cabinet, light, AC vent, 
a power fan as well and again there is a light switch here uh, there's storage underneath the bed it's on gas strut so you're not breaking your back lifting the thing up beautiful windows look at the size of this window folks all the windows in the trailers are oversized <laughs> a fan or a, I wouldn't say just a, a roof vent and there's a spot to mount a TV if you want on that wall folks uh, incredible price tons of features some I missed so please take a moment uh, read up the little write-up I have on our website so you have uh, pretty much everything uh, listed on there and if you have any more questions please stop by to see us or give us a call send us an email whatever whatever you would like and we'll go from there and uh, for now I think we've done it folks thanks for watching